Hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, I just want to do a kind of in-between project and this is um, something for me, just something to play in. Um, there's a lady called Meg and she's Meg Journals on YouTube and she's doing a collaboration. She's hosting it in January and it's a collaboration where you get a prompt every day and she does it July and January. I did July and I nearly finished it, but I didn't quite finish it, but I did enjoy it. I didn't do every day. I just picked a day that I thought I would like, but I kind of thought I'd like to have a go at this. So I'm going to make a book or a little journal that I can use to do this challenge. And it is for me, it is a challenge. Now the prompts come from Meg Journals and it's free to do. You just go onto Meg's website and there's a link for it. So I'll put that below just in case you wanted to join in. And she's got a lot of people and it's something like 29 people um, working alongside her. And each one's going to do one of the prompts every day. So there's lots of different styles. So that helps me anyway to see different people do things. And then, you know, you find something that you like. So I thought that I would have a go at doing something that I've not done before. Um, and I watched Kate from Pixie K Designs do an accordion journal and she's using that for her December daily. Um, and I've seen them before, but I've never made one. So I thought, right, I'm just going to do it because if it goes wrong, it's for me. It doesn't matter. And because I'm not very good at. <laughs> I'm not very good at understanding the prompts. They don't kind of click with me. I'm using card. I'm not going to do it very big because otherwise it just becomes a mountain to me. And then I fail before I've even started, if you know what I mean. So I'm using um, a, a box that my inks come in for my um, printer. So I've used the lid and the base of that box and they measure six and a half by... I'm just shy of four and a half. So I've just cut two pieces the same and they're going to be the front and the back of the journal. So let's see how I go. So I don't know if you've seen an accordion journal before. Um, when Kate, uh, Pixie K Designs, when she did hers, she extended the pages slightly outside of the cover. And I don't think I want to do that. I don't think. So I'm going to, I'm not going to do that. Um, I think I'm going to make mine flush with with the um, covers and I'm, I'm kind of stopping and thinking what I want to do because I just don't really know because you know because I've not done it before I'm just a little bit nervous to start so but what can go wrong it's paper and card so what I'm using is book pages I've got to think how do we start it so I think I want the pages to be the same size. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make that roughly the same size as the card that I'm using. And the first the first page has got to join to the um cover. And then I'm, it will get covered. So I think that I'm just going to glue that on there and then go for it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it, folks. So the idea is that you fold the papers like a concertina and, um, sorry, like an accordion. I think it is a concertina accordion, isn't it? Um, the old-fashioned accordion where it flips one way and then flips the other way. So we'll give it a go. What can what can go wrong? And as I say, I know that Kate extended hers. And I don't mind if it if it is a little bit bigger than the cover. I don't mind. Um, the trouble with me is that I tend to be neat and tidy. And I want to kind of step out of that little comfort zone that I've got of neat and tidy and do something a little bit more. So this is going to be my cover. OK, so when we open it, this the, I'll be covering this so we're not going to see it. And this is going to fold over to make a page. Now, to make the next page, you just fold it back on itself. And I think that I'm going to do it so it's just slightly shy of that. 
and then that is page one. Now, if I wanted to be really, really neat and tidy, I could trim this off and stick something on so that it's going to be the same. Um, the same as in um, you're going to get one, one piece of paper per page. But I'm going to go for as it just as it the papers fall, if you see what I mean. So I need to stick something on here that will fold again. Um, and I don't know what I want. I've got some of this, which is rather nice. It's some um, color uh, eco paper that I did a while ago that kind of went a bit wrong. So I might use that. How did I say that's about six and a half? So if I, if I tear this to kind of six and a half, and this has got some holes in it, but that's okay. It doesn't matter because these pages are just a base. Five, six and a half. They are just a base for whatever I choose to do for the prompt, if you see what I mean. They're not, they're not journal pages as such that I want them to look nice and pristine. And So that will glue on there. That would be quite nice. And if, if this piece is too big, then I can obviously, I can just um, cut it down, can't I, if there's too many folds in it. So I'm going to glue this on here. <clears throat> and I can, you know, these pages, I want to be able to collage on them. I think I've got that a bit wonky donkey, haven't I? I can collage on them. Um so I can add bits to it if I think, you know, it's a little bit plain or I don't like it. I don't like the paper. It doesn't suit what I want to do for that particular. I'm going to struggle to get these kind of straight on a long row, aren't I? But you can, you know, you can put something over the fault where you've joined them so that you can't see it. So again, that needs to just fold back on itself. And if I think that the paper's going to, uh, where I'm folding it, I can always, when I'm doing the prompts, I can always collage something over that fold. As long as it still opens up, it will be fine, won't it? You see, that might be too much of this paper. Who knows? Who knows? Let's have a look. So when we open the book, that's going to be covered with something. So we've got one page, two, it is creasing a little bit, it is old paper though, three, four, that's okay, I'm happy with that. My paper has gone a little bit smaller, but that's okay because the next one I'd add can be a little bit bigger, can't it? And I think I might add that. And I might add the bit that says Kate Green away. And I might even have it as a tuck. I don't know. Would that work? Does it matter? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. So I think what I'm going to do, I might get my wet glue out. And it's not going to work because it's been stood for a bit. Hang on. Why does it do that? Even though you put the lid on it, sometimes it just glues, glues itself together, doesn't it? So I want to lay that on there. It's that that's not very level, isn't it? And that's what's throwing me. Does it matter if it's not very level? See, this is where I go wrong. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry. I am just going to stick this next piece on. Right, come on, Carol, you're messing. Just do it. I'm just going to stick that there. And as I say, where these creases are, as in where I've added the next page, 
I can correct that and oopsie daisy that was too much glue wasn't it add something over now if you have a look at um, if you go on to Meg's page Meg's journals um, I think she did one of these for her Christmas challenge last year or the year before I think it was last year she did an accordion style I don't think I do want a fold in it because that's just gonna throw me completely there we are I've been brave I've just torn it off look so where are we now so can you see how it's going so one two three four five six so I need something on here about some nice ledger paper I think I want it with the number so we'll add that on there so I think I'll put my paper my paper I think I'll add my glue on that edge and on that edge Now I think I'm finding that easier than the glue stick. And so that's going to fold back that way. And I need to be mindful of when I put the cover on. I think I need the fold to be this end because if I have it there, it won't open properly that way. Will it? No. It won't so I think I need to tear this extra bit off and then I need to put another piece on here um, I've got some of this brown paper you know what's going to annoy me is I'm going to either have to lose the 206 or the 207. I don't think I've got a, <laughs> I don't think that I've got a choice in that. So let me just tear a bit off this. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Let's tear a bit off this one. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Oh dear. Sorry folks, sorry I've just I haven't quite got enough given myself enough room to tear it. This is just a piece of packing paper that at some time I don't know I've seemed to have put some gesso on it. I can't remember doing that at all. Uh, glue. Let's get this one on. I don't think that I will end up doing all of the prompts, but I'm kind of thinking it's going to be a good way for me to practice stepping outside of my little box and doing something that's a little bit uncomfortable for me. I love mixed media. I love seeing people doing mixed media, but it just doesn't seem to make sense to me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is like that. But when I do mixed media, it just does not look the same or I, I don't know. I'm just very uncomfortable with it. So I'm guess I'm thinking, I'm hoping that this will be a way for me to just kind of step out of that box a little bit. I think I might rip that one off because I don't know that I want. I might want a double spread of it, mightn't I? So I might leave that enough to do a double spread. And then I can add something on there. So how many pages have I got? And don't forget that you've got the other side as well. So you've got double, double sides doing it this way. So I'm not going to count that as a page. So, and that's going to be my front page. So I'll count it. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we went on the back, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I've got about 18 pages there. So you can see, you know, it does, it kind of grows quite quickly. Get that extra bit off there. Right, what else do we want then? Maybe a piece of music paper. That might be nice, mightn't it? Okay, we'll put, put the music paper on. And the other thing that I liked when I watched Meg make her Christmas, oh, it was her, I think it was the giant, it wasn't Christmas, I'm telling you porky pies. I think it was her um, January challenge from last year that she did, like using this method. And what I really did like about it was the fact that you can open the book and lay it flat when you're working on it because it's a concertina. So, you know, you can open it up while you're working on one page and you haven't got the bulk of what you did previously. So, you know, and I thought oh, that's a really good idea, especially when you're, you're new to something and you're not sure how it's going to how it's going to roll. It's very easy, I think, to go off off kilter with this. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to keep these bits that I'm tearing off because I might be able to use those. I've got that completely wonk. So when Kate did this, um, she wanted to fold her papers so that they were slightly sticking out so that she got kind of that effect. So it would stick out that side and stick out this side. I think I just want mine flush and when she did it she made them flush and then realized that she'd actually wanted to um to go the other way so I had to change it oh that's very thick I don't think I want lined paper in it I might put that on I'm just getting into the swing now I think um trying not to think too much about it and if I don't, when I come to do the day that this page is on, and I guess you can swap your pages about, you know, it doesn't have to go one, two, three, four, five. You don't have to um, follow them in day order. I could skip a couple of pages. I wonder if I should have, should have, should have done that so that that's in the whole screen. I think I probably should have done. Yeah, I see messy now. I'm going to tear that off there. So, you know, if I if I think the prompt for day one doesn't look right on the papers that I've got for day one, I can skip a page, can't I? I don't think I don't think there's any rules. Somebody will tell me. But I think when you're doing things like this, I don't think there's rules. There we go. I think I'm doing OK with this. And I think I would rather probably have more pages than less because I might want to do like a double spread or two of the prompts may mean something to me that I want to do kind of a wider. Oh, well, will you look at that? That's got a fold there. So if I glue that, if I glue that on there. Not that I'm going to get that fold where I want it to be, am I? Not in a month of Sundays. Unless I put it like that. That might work. Oh, and it did. So let's rip that off there. I can't remember what I was saying now. I got carried away doing that bit, didn't I? Sorry, folks. I don't think it could have been very interesting, was it? <laughs> so that would fold that way. See, I've got a fold slightly in the wrong place just there. That 
that's okay. And I think, I think I might tear a bit off of here. Just so that it makes it easier for me to add a piece on. This paper's a little bit thicker. But I don't think that that matters. Has anybody else ever made one of these? If you have, how did it how did it work out? Were you pleased with it in the end? Oh, I don't know if I've put that book this book page in the right way up now. Well, if not, I can just tear it out, can't I? Now I have looked. That's the right way, isn't it? And where I've got that, I've got like a double fold there. I can always put some washi tape or wrap something around it, can't I? How do I want this to fold? Oh, look at that. That actually fell. Perfect. God, I couldn't do that again if I tried, could I? <laughs> nope, not at all. Let's try and tear this bit off. And we'll have a quick count of how many pages I've got. And then I'll think about how I want to cover it. And we'll do that as well. But I might do that in another video. I'm quite enjoying this process, actually. Right, let's have a look. So we've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that's actually thirty two, isn't it? Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. So I've got 32 pages. Now, if I add that on there, that's wrong. That's the wrong way. So I need one more piece on there. Um, So that that will stick on there that's it that's the way okay so let's just tear a bit off of here how was i doing it can't remember can't remember what i'm doing now so that will go on there like that. I've got different folds in it now, look. I've confused myself. So if I put that on there, I still need to tear a bit off the edge, don't I? What did I say? Six and a half. Um... It's not level at all. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. So I don't need to take that much off of it. Okay. Sorry, folks, I've got myself really confused with this bit. If I put that on there and that bit folds over there, yep, yeah, let's do it that way. Who knows if it's right or if it's wrong. And I've done this bit a little bit too short. Don't worry. Don't worry, Carol. It'll be okay. That will go like that. That will go like that. I've committed myself now because I've torn it. 
but I think that that will go on like that and then that would open that way. So there isn't a right and a wrong way for this book, is there? No, that's right. I'm sure that's right. Anybody that's shouting at me that I've got it wrong, I'm really sorry, I can't hear you. Am I going to regret doing it this way? Let's hope not. Let's hope not. And I want that bit to go on there. not got it straight on at all look so that would be the last page I'm not convinced I've got this right you know that would be the last page so that would be the back cover and then that would be the inside of the next cover Yeah, that's the same as that way, isn't it? So, yes, that's. I think I've got that right. <laughs> oh, dear. Feeling a bit hysterical here now. And I know that this is going to grow. So, you know, it's going to grow bigger because I'm going to be sticking things in here and doing collages in it, aren't I? So if that's the front of the book, let's just do a quick count and I will let you go because I think I must have frazzled all your brains. So that's the front cover. Um... And I'm, for me, I think that I am just going to write front. Just so that I want that to be the front. So the first page I get is going to be this. That's going to be covered. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And it flips over and we go the other way. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So I've got more than enough to do to fill this book. So I'm happy with that. I'm really pleased how that's turned out. Um, to say it's the first one that I've attempted... They're not all perfectly lined up, look, on the back. Um, and the way that you'd close this is you'd you'd put some sort of tie around it. You could certainly punch a hole in the first one, but you couldn't punch a hole in the last one because it's back to front. I might have to go and watch Meg's <laughs> to make sure I've put that the right way. Because if I'd done it the other way, it would be opening that way, wouldn't it, instead of that way? I'm sure I've got it right. Don't doubt yourself, Carol. Well, if I've got it wrong, it's tough because this is my version if it's wrong. So there we go. I'm going to let this dry and then I will come back and we will decorate the covers. So take care, everybody. I hope you found this useful. And if I've confused everyone, I apologise. But if you want to give it a go, um, have a look at Meg Journals on YouTube and I will mention her in my comments below and all the prompts are here and it's things like resolutions, starry, stained, decorated tag, routine, stitched, shimmer, blossom, hidden, intricate. So there's loads of loads of them and I'm already thinking I haven't got Scooby-Doo but I'm looking forward to the challenge that this will bring to me. So thank you very much for joining me and I will catch you next time. Bye.